Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos, and today we are going to judge the success of the Lightning Network so far. Lightning is a payment protocol that operates on top of the blockchain, making cheap, instantaneous transactions possible on Bitcoin. It launched back in early 2018, so it's now had over a year to develop a user base. Let's see how it's doing. Before we look at the data, we should keep in mind that building a new payment platform from the ground up like this is insanely difficult because of something called the network effect. Basically, the person you're interacting with needs to support the new technology, but why would they do the work to support something new if other people aren't using it yet? It needs users in order to get users. This is a classic catch-22, and it's not easy to overcome. So let's get into the stats. Here's the total amount of Bitcoin being actively stored in Lightning channels today. It's about a thousand Bitcoins, or about eight million dollars at the time of this recording, with pretty steady growth over the past year. Not bad. That downturn there at the end looked suspicious to me, but it turns out that it was mostly due to a single company called LN Big that allegedly controls almost half the Bitcoin on this graph. They were just closing down some useless dead-end channels. It's actually not a big deal. So there's a thousand Bitcoins inside the Lightning Network, but how many people are actually using this? Well, thanks to the privacy features, it's really hard to know exactly how many transactions are happening here. But a recent Reddit post from LN Big gives us some insight. They write that they process 200 to 300 transactions per day on their nodes. By the way, the fees they collect are 40 to 80 cents a day, which is about $20 a month tops. But they think they've already spent over $1,000 for on-chain Bitcoin transactions. Hmm, maybe running a Lightning node isn't such a great business to be in right now. So here's the question for you. Do you think 200 to 300 transactions a day is an impressive number or a pathetic number? I've been watching Lightning develop since it was just an idea, so I have to say that I'm impressed that it's gotten this far. It isn't a good replacement for on-chain transactions yet, but it is actually working in the wild. What do you think? Post below. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.